Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome to Something Old, Something New Car Rips. I'm Lance, today is Wednesday, so we're doing our weekly wrap-up. And this week, so I always like to start off with, things with a little giveaway. I put these little packs together, I give away one. Every time I do one of these, all I had to do is comment with the last video with what pack you wanted. Make sure you had to use the bird pack P-A-C-K. So I've got my URL from my last video. I got uh, filter comments based on Pacific Tech pack, like I said. Let's do a little math. Get YouTube comments and 26 comments. So good luck, everybody. So here we go. The winner this week is Adrian Fillmore. That Seaver was really cool card. Nice stuff this week. Pack 00 seems to be the option. Thanks for all the great content. I'm glad all is well with your family. So Adrian wins Pack 00. So that was our last baseball pack. Don't worry, I made up some more packs. It all actually did a lot of sorting this week. So I feel pretty good about that. But there's pack zero. Now each one of these packs has an autograph and a relic card. And we'll talk more about those towards the end. But uh, congratulations, Adrian. I know you won before, but if you want to send me an email to make sure your address hasn't changed or anything. Or if anybody of your PC collections changed at all. I'm not sure if you're going to still be collecting Trey Mancini or not. So there we go. So we're going to get into what we got picked up this week. So if this is your first time seeing this, what I like to do is go through all the stuff I picked up for the week, wherever I've gotten the cards from. eBay, you know, the rips you are, you've already seen. <clears throat> the card shop. Team breaks. I've just seen a lot of team breaks, stuff like that. So first off, I opened up a couple of blasters of Chronicles on Sunday. Just got the basic, you, what you see in Chronicles. Got Mac Jones of Magnitude. Got a couple of the pink parallels of the big rookies, Trey Lance and the Trevor Lawrence. Really like the, uh, I mean, I like Luminance, but the Pinini design looks pretty cool too. And then I actually got an autograph out of one of them, the Cole Komet, numbered out of uh, 99, 19 out of 99. Is that showing up? So that was pretty cool to pull an autograph out of there. And I'll put one of these, put this Trey, Trevor Lawrence up there. And then on Monday, I opened up the collectible card code box. Didn't pull anything big as you per usual but they have some pretty fun packs in there there was an 85 donors pack in there there was you know kinds of different things there's kenny lofton at 92 there was a platinum anniversary pack in there top scoring that sg's kino is numbered out of 100 21 out of 100 we did pull a hit out of there joe girardi numbered out of 99 90 out of 99 this nice elegance and then a card i didn't notice was numbered when i was ripping that but uh, when i went back through it was so this is actually the gold artist proof which is numbered out of 49 14 out of 49 so that wasn't a bad pool. I mean, Christian Pache is not playing well, but what are you going to do? And then I uh, bought a hobby box of 2022 Series 2 off of Tops.com when it you know, came out. and it took a long time to get here. So I've been working on that slowly. I uh, already got most of the rookies out of there. Cabrera, Connor Seabold. I haven't got an O'Neill Cruz yet. I got one George Brett die cut. Got a Sweet Sage, Christian Yellett. I already pulled the autograph there, as an, or the hit out of there was an Aaron Ashby. I thought that was pretty sweet. And then we actually got an SSP of the Shohei Otani. So this has actually been a pretty good box so far. I haven't hit one of the rookie short prints, though. and probably not going to since I got that SSSP. So. But I still got the box from Adrian. So hopefully that box will uh, have an SSP in it. And then last but not least, we got, or not, I guess this isn't last. It's second to last. We got some stuff from the LCS. So Saturday was... International Trading Card Day for Tops. So I went to a couple of LCSs and uh, so I found this Tyler Stevenson in a box, but I went for Chrome first. And let's see. Well, there's a couple of eBay purchases on the bottom of this. Picked up some Ha Sung Kim. I like Ha Sung Kim. Good player to watch. Fun player to watch. There's a, I saw this card. I have no affiliation with this at all, but I just saw this card and I was looking through the boxes of the 52s, 53s, and 54s. And I saw this Matt Bats. I thought that was a really cool name. Sounds like he actually did pretty well in his career. But I just thought that was a sweet card. Or a sweet name, Matt Bats. Got the old Detroit Tiger symbol on there. And interesting how the hat symbol hasn't changed much. The actual D there. But the Tiger itself has changed over the years. And then uh, this guy has a Rams, Rams cards. Picked up the Henry Eller and Jim Everett and another Henry Eller. Some stuff I'm probably never going to rip, so I figured I might as well get it. Got this nice Aaron Donald out of 149. This uh, Jacob Harris the, out of the Elements Plutonium. These are numbered out of 494. These are, I really like these cards. I, mean, you, I don't know if you've ever seen these before. That are, they're actually big old chunks of metal. It's a nice Cooper Cup Pink Prism. And a Tom Seaver 76. He actually had a couple of these. This one's not too bad. The other one 
had a little bit of a chunkier corners taken out of it. But I did not have a 76 Tom Seaver. And then I recently talked about last week how I was looking for the 86 Mets. Maybe I'll start uh, watching the Clint over Swingway Sports Cards doing a little side PC video. It kind of gave me the inspiration to start working on that. So I actually had this, found this Ron Darling at my LCS. He had this Ron Darling in a box of random autographs and relic cards. Ronald Darling. And then I picked this up off eBay, the Wally Backman. He's actually a Oregon native. Says so right up there, home born in Hillsboro. His home was Beaverton at this point in time when they printed this card. So that was pretty cool. And I actually live right on the Hillsboro Beaverton border. And then I got another package from Tops. This should be a Tops Now card. It's kind of cool though. I got a an email notification for them for a uh, one of my redemptions that I had to mail in because when I scratched it, it just totally chunked off and it went through. So I'm pretty happy about that. And it will be fun to show off that card when it gets here. This one I actually ordered. I think this is the one. I ordered a few extra cards. And all I'm doing is I'll end up putting the extras into my packs when I make them up. But I'm going to do... It's a lot cheaper to buy them that way, so that's why I did it that way. I figured, what am I going to do with all these cards? But I figured, oh, I'll just put them in the thing. So, as you can see, there's, uh, it looks like we only got six. So, we did not get any parallels. So, there's one of these and five is of another card. So, we got a Pete Alonzo, first half RBI record. And then the Aaron Judge cards. So, 33rd home run of the season ties Maris's first half mark. So, he was on pace to beat Maris's. Oh, we did get a. We did get something in there. So we got this one. So like I said, these other extra ones will be make their way into the uh, those packs. So we got five. And then we got one numbered out of 25. 18 out of 25. So that worked out good. So by buying five, it brought the price down. These are normally $9.99 a piece. By buying five, we brought it down to $29.99, which is, uh, you know, six. How many, yeah, five of them. Six bucks a piece. So, And I actually got a parallel from doing that. So... I'm going to keep one of these also for my PC, and then these four will end up going into the uh, packs whenever we get those up there. We'll actually put that 18 out of 25. That's pretty good. Pretty good low numbered card. Put it in front of Christian Pache. Since Aaron Judge is doing a little bit better than Christian Pache. So there you go. <coughs> so I put some together some more packs. So if you like to get in this week's pack giveaway, all you got to do is come with this video with what pack you want P A C K. Each one of these packs has an autograph and a relic card, it has numbered cards inserts rookies parallels all kinds of good stuff so these are the football packs i have left these are football packs 70 72 and 74 these have been around for a while so there's like 21 rookies 2020 20 rookies so there might be some tuas and uh joe burrows in there still i'm not sure and these are the baseball packs i put back together and i uh, added some more extra little things so i have baseball packs 20 through 29 left and here are some of the chase cards this this round so there are two Wander Franco base series one rookies there's a Trevor Hoffman autograph numbered out of 50 there's a Tim Anderson autograph in there. there's Ricky Henderson relic a Bryce Harper relic uh, some of the rookies I took 2020 Jordan Nico Gavin Lux Bo Bichette Cabrian Hayes Chisholm and Vaughn from 2021 uh, there are, uh, I think there's a, some O'Neill Cruz. There are some 2022 rookies in there too. I didn't, Shane Boz, some of the top guys. There's a Vladdy Gold number out of 2022. Uh, some of the, then I put some of the superstars in there. Trout, Vladdy, Betts, Harper, and Otani. There's a couple firsts in there. The big one, De La Rosa and Sabato, Aaron Sabato. And uh, three of the packs have two autographs in there, so... Like I said, all you got to do is comment this video with what pack you want. Make sure you use your pack, P-A-C-K, packs 20 through 29 for baseball, and packs, well, I can't remember what's in the 70s for, for the football. As always, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Have a great rest of your week, and I'll catch you next time.